For nearly a thousand years, the yin yang symbol has captivated minds across the globe. This iconic black and white swirl, representing balance and interconnectedness, is deeply rooted in Chinese philosophy. But few know the story of its creator, Zhou Dunyi, a philosopher who lived around 950 years ago. Zhou wasn't just drawing a pretty design. He was attempting to capture the fundamental nature of the universe. In his view, everything in existence was interconnected, with opposing forces in constant, harmonious interplay. For centuries, Zhou's ideas were seen as profound philosophy, but remained firmly in the realm of abstract thought. In a groundbreaking experiment, quantum physicists have recently captured an image that has sent shockwaves through both the scientific and philosophical communities. Using cutting-edge technology, entangled photons were photographed, revealing that they appear as a near-perfect representation of the yin-yang symbol. This unexpected discovery raises a fascinating question. Has this ancient philosopher's insights into the nature of reality finally found validation in the most advanced realms of modern physics? Back in the 11th century, during the Northern Song Dynasty, Zhou Dunyi developed his groundbreaking ideas. This period, often referred to as the Second Golden Age of Confucianism, saw a resurgence of Confucian thought influenced by earlier Tang Dynasty thinkers. Zhou Dunyi emerged as one of the pioneers of Neo-Confucianism, a school of thought that integrated elements of Taoist and Buddhist metaphysics into traditional Confucian philosophy. Drawing from keen observation of nature and earlier Chinese cosmological concepts, Zhou Dunyi formulated a comprehensive worldview. He believed that the universe started from a state of undifferentiated potential, which he called Wuji. From this emerged Taiji, the supreme ultimate, which gave rise to the dynamic interplay of yin and yang, opposite but complementary forces that he saw as fundamental to all existence. This philosophy, attempted to capture the interconnectedness of everything in the universe, with opposing forces in constant, harmonious interplay. On the other hand, quantum entanglement, a phenomenon only discovered in the 20th century, describes a bizarre connection between particles at the subatomic level. When two particles become entangled, their quantum states are linked regardless of the distance between them. Any change to one particle instantaneously affects its partner, defying our classical understanding of cause and effect. The experiment that produced this striking image used a technique called biphoton digital holography. This advanced method allowed scientists to visualize two entangled light particles in real time, reconstructing their properties from a 2D interference pattern. It's worth noting that the photons weren't purposefully arranged to resemble the yin-yang symbol. This emerged naturally from their quantum state. The visual similarity between Zhou's yin-yang symbol and the image of entangled photons is striking. But is it merely coincidence? Or did Joe intuitively grasp something about the fundamental nature of reality that science is only now beginning to understand? To answer this, we'll need to examine both concepts more closely. One of the most striking aspects of quantum entanglement is something Einstein famously referred to it as spooky action at a distance, because it violates the principle that information can't travel faster than the speed of light. This behavior of entangled particles bears a fascinating resemblance to Zhou Dunyi's idea of universal interconnectedness. But how deep does this similarity go? In Zhou's philosophy, the interconnectedness of all things stems from their common origin in Taiji and their composition of yin and yang forces. Instead of two opposing forces, entanglement in quantum physics arises from specific interactions between particles. While the entangled particles look precisely like a yin-yang representation, can the differences be simplified into mere semantics? Another intriguing parallel lies in the role of the observer. In quantum mechanics, the act of measurement affects the state of a system, the famous observer effect. This has led some physicists to question whether consciousness plays a role in shaping reality. Interestingly, Joe Dunyi's philosophy insightfully emphasizes the unity of the observer and the observed suggesting that our perception and the world we perceive are intrinsically linked. This connection between observation and reality 
leads us to an even more profound question. Could quantum entanglement play a role in generating consciousness itself? Some researchers in the emerging field of quantum biology propose that quantum processes, including entanglement, might be crucial to how our brain and manifest reality interact. According to this hypothesis, quantum entanglement in our neural networks could allow for the instantaneous transfer of information across different parts of the brain, potentially explaining the unified nature of conscious experience. This idea, while still highly speculative, presents a fascinating parallel to Joe Dooney's concept of universal interconnectedness. If consciousness indeed arises from quantum processes in the brain, it would suggest a deep, fundamental link between the observer and the observed universe, a concept that resonates strongly with both Joe's philosophy and modern interpretations of quantum mechanics. This perspective adds another layer to our exploration, suggesting that the yin-yang symbol might not only represent the nature of reality, but also the very process by which we perceive and understand this reality. It's worth noting that similar ideas about interconnectedness exist in other ancient philosophies. For instance, Vedic philosophy and Buddhism both contain concepts that seem to resonate with aspects of quantum theory and consciousness studies. This raises interesting questions about how different cultures could have ever conceived the fundamental nature of reality in the human mind while merely working with philosophical concepts and intuition. So, what can we make of these parallels? Are they mere coincidences, or do they point to some deeper truth about the nature of reality? The resemblance between the yin-yang symbol and quantum entanglement raises profound philosophical questions. Does this similarity suggest a deep, universal truth about the nature of reality that both ancient philosophers and modern physicists have glimpsed? Or is it simply a coincidence arising from our human tendency to find patterns and meaning? As we continue to explore these ideas, it's important to remember that while ancient wisdom can provide valuable insights, it's the rigorous methods of modern science that allow us to test and verify our understanding of the universe. The true power may lie in combining these approaches, using the intuitive leaps of philosophy to inspire new directions in scientific research, and using scientific findings to deepen our philosophical understanding of reality.